Oh, hey there. How you doing? You're just in time. It's getting set up to make us a new log bench. We're going to donate it to the Humane Society for the local furball. It's their fundraiser. You want to see how I do it? Come on, I'll show you. As you can see here, I've already got this log cut down to length, and I've got it ripped in half. And you'll notice one side is a lot thinner than the other. This will be the back, and this will be the seat log. So we're going to mark about four inches here, about one and three quarters here. So we'll end up with a slope seat like this. So I make a couple of reference points across the front, and we'll just eyeball a nice round radius right here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think I'll go underneath that knot and then start my radius. So we got the front marked. We're just going to swing this around, make our reference points. Follow that on around. All right, so that's the seat log. Let's set it aside mark the back log. Same way, we'll make some reference points. And just scribe it in about three and a half to four inches. And we're going to leave about an inch and a half. Then we just finish it out all the way around. All right, so let's grab that chainsaw. Head over to the yard. I'll show you how we cut these out. Next, we'll just fire up the chainsaw start following this notch that we made over right, the so as I get started I'm just gonna use the flat edge of my bar and cut from point to point make some notches before we cut that center section <laughs> now it's a whole lot easier just to scoop this out Once you get these two ends curved out, it makes it a lot simpler to just cut this long ways now. Now it's simply a matter of sanding these down. Alright, so we're getting set up to start sanding these down. Start out sanding on these logs. I like to use this. Yep, this is a seven inch grinder with a 36 grit abrasive disc. And this thing will take off a lot of log in a hurry. So I got my respirator. You'll see here in a minute why. bench will be auctioned off next weekend at the local Humane Society fundraiser, I thought we'd take time to do something a little special. So I've spent some time going through this King Metals catalog. Looking at some of these forged steel ballasters. So before we finish sanding this log smooth, staining and painting everything, I'm going to take the next few minutes and weld on these decorative ballasters that we got from King Metals. So what you see here is our standard set of log legs. Which, by the way, you can purchase from our website at logfurniturehowto.com. We're just going to take a few minutes to weld up a cross brace on each side and add a little decoration. The 
So now we'll just finish sanding this log, get it stained, paint these legs, and we'll have us a nice new log bench. Now it's simply a matter of just bolting it up. Let's take a look at this. Hey now, don't forget, if you're interested in purchasing this bench, it's going to be up for auction this weekend, Saturday, April 28th, at the local fur ball. That's the fundraiser for the Pikes Peak Humane Society. Hope to see you there. This has been Mitchell Doman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next time.